This video is going to be focused on the Senate of Tlaxcala by Rodrigo Gutierrez. To romanticize something is to make it appear better than it really is. The painting in the background is an example of romanticizing history. This painting was commissioned by a lawyer named so uh, Sanchez Solis, who is described as someone that encouraged the creation of literary and artistic works alluding to the Nacional past, which was tantamount to the pre-Hispanic past. Solis claimed to have been a descendant of a noble Aztec family and commissioned other paintings from the National Fine Art School. At the time of commissioning this painting, Mexico was liberating itself of Spanish rule and the school was encouraging students to depict historic events from pre-colonization. To understand this drawing and how it is being romanticized, we have to look at what is happening, not just in the painting, but about the era that is being painted. In a letter by Cortes to the King of Spain, he claimed the Aztecs kissed the ground at his feet in a procession and gifted him precious necklaces. He went on to say that Montezuma vowed to follow him. Because Montezuma decided to give this power to Cortes, Cortes decided to remove the idols of the Aztecs and have them convert to Christianity. Montezuma warned him that the people would not be happy because they believed their gods gave them the earth and would be angry without their gifts and cause a famine. Brushing off his words, Cortes told them they were being deceived, for there is only one God, and he did not approve of their actions of human sacrifice. During a traditional Aztec celebration, the Spaniards decided to trap, attack, and kill the natives out of fear of a mutiny. In the continuing battles, Bernal Diaz de Castillo, one of Cortes's soldiers, recounted in his books The Conquest of New Spain many horrors such as being thrown legs of Indians and fellow soldiers, as well as Guatemoc sending hands and feet of soldiers, and the skin of their faces and the heads of the horses that had been killed to their allies, saying that this was their fate if they decide to say a lie to the Spaniards. In a second letter by Cortes, he explained that the reason other natives allied with him was because they could not grow cotton in their lands and were deprived of access to salt. This is what led Sioxten Cartal, Tlaxcala chief, to ally with them. While the events of the meeting that was painted is not really discussed, the artist Rodrigo Gutierrez uses a modern art style to portray these events. The Senate has the members of the meeting placed in the same way a European Senate would be, with people of power in the center and on higher platforms. In a journal article by Stacey G. Whitfield, she states that when ancient indigenous heritage emerged in a modern post-independent Mexico, the man-eating Indians were represented as members of a civilized society with political structures similar to Europe's classical world. Barbaric Aztec society became noble, orderly, hierarchic, productive, and civilized. Solis was considered an outlier in his taste of art. Even Gutierrez, the artist, faced uncertainty in his future after graduating about what to do in a society that was not interested in this type of production. Art that portrays these types of Mexican history were encouraged by the Mexican government as well. However, outside of Mexico, the focus was on other elements such as landscapes. During the 1870s, the art movement in Europe was realism. It focused on creating realistic scenes of life, not reimagining scenes of history. Even with the artistic liberties taken that merge historical indigenous events to European ideals, at the same time stripping away what identified an indigenous tribe to simply the clothes they wore, this painting eventually gained favor and was displayed in a fair in Paris, showing a rich history that used to be ignored.